This video is on quadrilaterals. With this video you will be taking lots of notes. In class today you should have received a quadrilateral flow chart. You're going to need to get this out. As we go through the different quadrilaterals you're going to be writing the characteristics of each on your flow chart. You will use the flow chart to help you with homework and also to do tonight's video homework check. Figures with four straight sides and four angles are called quadrilaterals. If you take a look at the box on the left, you see example shapes that are quadrilaterals. If you'll notice, each shape has four sides and all of the sides have straight lines. You'll also see that they are closed figures. There's no holes or gaps in the sides. The box on the right side are examples of shapes that are not quadrilaterals. This shape right here is an octagon. It has eight sides. So it cannot be a quadrilateral because a quadrilateral only has four sides. Triangle has three sides, not four. And this shape, you'll see that there is a curved lines. And quadrilaterals can only have straight sides. There are five special quadrilaterals that we are going to study. The first is the trapezoid. The characteristic that you need to write down next to trapezoid on your flowchart is that a, tra a trapezoid has exactly one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. We've talked about parallel lines. You've learned about this in elementary school. Parallel lines are two lines, two straight lines, that can extend forever and ever and ever and ever, and they will never ever meet. They are parallel. So in our trapezoid, there's exactly one pair of parallel lines. So for the green one, the top and the bottom, these are our parallel sides. They will, If you were to extend the lines, they would never ever meet. The same thing for the blue one, the top and the bottom. These lines will never meet, they are parallel. The other sides, however, are not parallel, and they will at some point meet if you were to continue them. If at any point you need to pause the video so that you can get caught up on the notes, please do so. The second quadrilateral we're going to talk about is the parallelogram. The characteristics of a parallelogram is that the opposite sides are congruent, the opposite sides are parallel, and opposite angles are congruent. Okay, what exactly does that mean? Let's take the first characteristic. Opposite sides are congruent. Congruent is another word that means equal or the same. Opposite sides are congruent mean that they're going to be the same length. If you look at the green parallelogram, The left side is congruent to the right side. Okay, they're gonna, if you were to measure them, they would both measure the same length. The top is congruent to the bottom. Again, if you were to measure them, they would be the same length. Now take a look. Do you notice this mark right here on the top? And it has the same mark on the bottom. Those are tick marks. And what those mean is that these sides are congruent. Okay, these are symbols that they are congruent. If you look at the left and the right, there are two tick marks. That means that those sides are congruent. So whenever you're looking at a figure and you see tick marks, the sides that have the same number of tick marks are the sides that are congruent. Because the top and the bottom are the sides that have one tick mark, they are congruent. Because the left and the right are the sides that have two tick marks, then those are the sides that are congruent or equal. Opposite sides are parallel. We already discussed what parallel is. So both the left and the right sides are parallel as well as the top and the bottom. And then opposite angles are congruent. Let's take a look at our pink parallelogram. Take a look at your top left corner and your top, I'm sorry, your bottom right corner. These are congruent angles. They are opposite angles. And do you notice how they each have one little arc to represent the angle? That means that they're equal. They're congruent. If you look at the, oops, the top right and the bottom left, you'll see that each one has two little curved marks to represent the angle. That means that they're equal. So the angles that have the same number of curved lines, curved little arcs, those are the angles that are congruent. 
because the top left and the bottom right have one, they're the ones that are congruent. This bottom right is not going to equal the top right because the top right has two marks versus the one in the bottom. Very important. Sometimes you're going to be given a figure and you'll see the tick marks and the angle markings and maybe only one angle measurement and you have to find another one and you're going to have to use your knowledge of what these tick marks mean that if they're the same number then they're the ones that are equal. Rectangles. Opposite sides are congruent which is true. The left side and the right side they're equal. If you were to measure them they would measure the same. The top and the bottom sides are congruent. Look at the tick marks. It verifies it. Two tick marks, two tick marks, so top and bottom are equal. The left and the right each have one tick mark, so they're congruent. Opposite sides are parallel. The left and the right are parallel to each other. The top and the, and the bottom are parallel to each other. And then all angles are right angles. Take a look at that. Remember that little square denotes that it is a right angle. Sometimes you may see 90 degrees written or sometimes you'll see the little square representing that it is a right angle. Squares. In a square, all sides are congruent. Take a look. Do you notice every side has one tick mark? That's because every side measures the same length. Opposite sides are parallel and all angles are right angles. In a rhombus, in a rhombus, all sides are congruent. Take a look at your tick marks. They each have one. Opposite sides are parallel, and opposite angles are congruent. Look at your angles. Okay, this top left and this bottom right, they each have one little curved angle mark, so they are the congruent angles. The top right and the bottom left have two, so those two are congruent angles. They're equal. They measure the same.